Jerome, people don't feel comfortable. Maybe the clue is in the name. You've had a short-term <laughs> portfolio management, so help me understand what I should do right now, Jerome. Yeah, quite honestly, it's, it's all about understanding volatility, understanding liquidity management, being a little more defensive. You know, while we had, you know, financial conditions easing, as you mentioned a, a few moments ago, the reality is, is that there's a lot of, there is a lot of potential negatives for headlines. The balanced view is one where we take a little bit further view out, understand that we are in a stall speed for the economy, nearly a stall speed. The probability of a recession is somewhat higher over the next 12, uh, 12 to 18 months. But at the, at the outset, we need to find ways to reduce risk to understand that there's ways to manage uh, to, to manage around this and it's really by simply taking smaller bites in terms of risk appetite raising cash levels looking to manage liquidity in a more proactive way and what it really does quite honestly Jonathan is helps reduce the inner inner day and really inner week volatility that you see from the reverberations of these changes in sentiment of these changes in consensus and so the right thing to do at this point in time is actually position yourself for a little bit of patience in your portfolios and have those higher cash levels and perhaps take advantage of the higher relative rates that we're seeing in the front end uh, of, of global interest rates curves.